Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. Finally was able to get to that uh, 3000 Stardust. So I thought we would open up a Golden Reliquary, see what we get, and talk about whatever champions we think that Relic might be good on. So let's check it out here. Okay, I understand these are not refundable. Alright, hopefully we get a good one. Found fortune, play, draw a card that costs less than my base cost, grant it an epic item, and reduce its cost to zero. Interesting. So this is one that I think could be pretty hit or miss, might be a very good one to get, or could be one that we don't really try. Let's go take a look at our champions and see who we want to use that on. So initially I was thinking that that one might be good for Volibear. Take a look at relics here. Where did it go? Oh, I guess it's all the way at the top. Interesting. So yeah, when you play him, draw a card that costs less than my base cost and grant an epic item to it. So it's going to be drawing one of the cards you already have in your deck. And it says less than my base cost. So I would assume that means less than nine, not less than whatever we actually play him as. So if you get some cost reduction on Volibear and you play him for like five mana or less, I think this is still going to be going off your base cost, not your current cost. So that should be the nine mana. Now this is going to be a little bit bad in the sense that it might draw one of your like one cost units, which isn't really great because Volibear is normally going to be the most expensive thing in your deck. So essentially he can draw any card from your deck and then grant a epic item to it. So this is gonna be one that's gonna be interesting to try. Cause I feel like for Volibear, if you draw like one of your Titanic units, get an epic item out on it, and you can play it for then zero, that's gonna be awesome. But if you draw one of your things that already costs one and it gets reduced down to a zero cost, like it, that doesn't really count. So this would be an interesting relic for some units, like if you're playing a cheaper champion you know the pool of cards you're going to draw is going to be much smaller. So you're going to be more consistent with this. Like, let's go take a look at, like, Annie, for instance. Actually, Annie is not going to be that good of an option because I believe that Relic says less than, and since she costs the lowest possible, let's say it's less than or equal to draw a champion that caught less than my base cost. So yeah, Annie wouldn't actually work, but if we take a look at someone else like... Elise, so she's a two cost champion. So for her, either our Spiderlings or Telstones would get an epic item. Actually, Elise might be very good for it then because if you only have a 50% shot of giving an epic item to one of your units, and if one of those is the Spiderling, that could actually be very, very good. Yeah, draw a card that costs less than my base cost, grant an epic item, reduces cost to zero. That actually might be good for your spiderlings. That actually could be hilarious. Trying to look through here and who would really benefit from this the most. So here for like Vagar, pretty much your whole deck costs less than you. So you'd really draw anything from your deck. So that variability might not necessarily be the best. Might actually be good for some of the slower champions that even when you're playing them, you're not normally ending the game. Hmm, this will be interesting. If I'm reading that base cost uh, correctly though, then this will be a relic that scales well with cost reduction, since if you have a more expensive champion and you play them for cheap, it'll still be going off of their base cost, not their current cost, so you still could draw a very powerful champion. So I think we will probably test this out with uh, Volibear first, but let me know in the comments who you think we should try this with. I'm really interested to see how this actually, how this actually does. I think I'll switch it out for the Ludens. I like Ludens, but I think the Found Fortune will actually work the best. I guess we need to put an Epic Relic on this champion first, actually. So, let's grab one of those. How many of those do we have at the moment? So we have six right now. Not too bad. Alright, so I think I will work on that. I want to test this out with Volibear, see how we like it. 
Comment down below who you think we should test it out with. A little bit sad that every time we want to test out a new champion, we're going to have to use one of these consumables. That's why I did buy a couple of them, so hopefully we can try this out on a couple different champions and uh, have some fun with it. Anyways, comment down below. Let me know who you think this could really work well with. And then once I have this match done, probably later in the week, maybe tomorrow, I'll post another video of trying this out together. Volley Bear plus the Found Fortune so we can see how it really plays in game. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, definitely like and subscribe and I hope you all have a great day.